Hello everyone, Technomath here with another video and today we are looking at trigonometric functions. Trigonometric functions as I've highlighted right here for you essentially accept radians by default. So if you, are, if you decide to work in degrees, you need to be able to convert your results into degrees and vice versa. So if you are trying to look for results that are in radians and what you have calculated is in degrees, you need to bring in the radians functions to convert this into degrees for you and vice versa as i'm going to show you so for the first thing we are going to use the pi function just to get the pi itself divided by four so this is what we get let me put this back to general so that we can see the full you know the full series so what excel does one thing you need to understand is that it tries to give you results as accurate to the 15th decimal place so with huge computations that are dependent on the previous computation you'll notice that your results over time become skewed and this is where you'll find that for people who are doing analysis on huge huge sets of data that are incremental and rely on the previous computation might not necessarily opt for excel but again this is something that you can factor in into your calculations once you begin to understand all the formulas and functionality within Excel and even functionality such as the what-if analysis that allow you to forecast your results. So to get the sign, putting in the sign, hitting the tab button to complete the formula, enter gives you the sign. So we can try a sign inverse, sorry, equals a sign, which is sign inverse. Select the cell you want to get the sign inverse enter gives you the sign inverse so for the course it's more or less the same enter and finally for the course inverse of the same so now we have the course sign course inverse sign inverse of pi over 4 so let's look at the degree equivalent of the same so now to get the degrees you need to bring in degree function select the cell you want the degrees and hit enter so in this scenario you notice that the moment we began working with pi over 4 what we're getting is decimals you know 0 0.7853 and whatever but if you bring in the degrees function to convert from radians now you get the degrees that most of us are vast with so again to get the sign of this put in sign and then we bring in the radians function because again trigonometric functions by default deal with radians so we need to be able to get the radian of that then use the sine function to get what we're looking for close the bracket and you see what we end up here with is 0 0.71 let me convert all this back to general so that we can be able to see what we're working with is the exact same we get from radians but the key difference here is this one we just put in the formula directly but in this one sorry in this one we had to bring in the radians function for us to get here this is a key thing if you forget that bit then your results will be really really skewed and you'll, you'll be getting results but your logic will be wrong so to get the sign inverse is more or less the same bring in the degrees function to convert this into degrees close your first bracket your second bracket hit enter and so we have a problem in this scenario we are trying to get the sine inverse of that let me delete that bring in a sign it's been a while <laughs> tab enter and we get ourselves at the same point so apologies for that one the thing is this is already in radians i did not have to bring in degrees again at this point then it brings a numerical evaluation error which is a syntax error more or less so for the same thing to get the cos function you cannot do that directly the result you get is wrong so to do that correctly you need to bring in cos bring in radians and then select the cell close the bracket close the bracket enter and finally for the cos inverse which is the a cos hit the tab auto complete so now just to see the real you know the work uh, the, the magic 
going to the you know the plus sign the autocomplete function dragging down over the range of cells you want to complete your equations this is the kind of results you get but here's the problem what we were looking for is an increment of this value incremented by pi over 4 up to 2 pi so in order for us to be able to do that coming back to this cell we need to increase this value by pi escape escape come over to the function editing over 4 and you notice that all these other formulas in one or another were dependent on this cell so that's why the moment i've just changed this cell everything else changes this is something very very unique with excel that you need to understand if you are working with large sets of data and they are dependent on one or two or three key cells you need to be aware of the information or the data in that cell so that as you change it you are factoring in that every other computation you've done downstream will be changed and another good thing is let's just select another cell out here you notice that there's this small triangle at this point this essentially highlights to you that there is a difference with this if you select the cell come here you notice that it tells you that the formula differs in this area of the spreadsheet so what excel has done is it has automatically analyzed this range and it has noticed that this specific cell has a different formula in comparison to this so in that way it helps you troubleshoot what problems might be in your computation but if you drag down to the end of the series you notice that it disappears because now excel can notice a clear pattern you're incrementing by pi over 4. so finally to where we had begun with let's edit this to a number series and choose either to increase the decimal places or decrease to two decimal places just to see the results so you notice that this column let me highlight that and this range are the only two different things but the rest are identical remember the formulas in here with degrees and the formulas with the radians are very different but the fact that you understand the difference and how to convert from degrees to radians and vice versa makes your computation very easy so depending on what you are working with if you're working with degrees if you're working with radians then at the end of the day you need to be able to convert from one range to the other to ensure that your data is safe and your computation are accurate if you like the videos don't forget to hit that subscribe button catch you on the next one thank you